Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Series, Case 73. Here we have bilateral frontal radiographs of the feet. And the question or the high yield question that we have today is, which of the following is not a risk factor for the pathology shown in the left foot? So the left foot here is abnormal. The right foot here is relatively normal. Is it a short first metatarsal, long fifth metatarsal, hallux valgus, or high heels, which of the following is not a risk factor for pathology shown in the left foot. And I wanna point your attention to the normal right foot. If we take a look at these metatarsals, there's a nice rounded convex contour to the metatarsal heads. We see that in the first metatarsal, second metatarsal, third, fourth, and fifth. If we come to the left side, we have a nice round convex contour to the first metatarsal head, but then there's flattening of the second metatarsal head. And there's also sclerosis in the second metatarsal head. This would suggest a diagnosis of Freiberg's infraction and a short first metatarsal, hallux valgus and high heels are all risk factors for Freiberg's infraction making B or a long fifth metatarsal the answer here. Notice here in this cone down view, you can see how the second metatarsal head is flattened. We've lost that convex contour and there's increased sclerosis along the metatarsal head when compared to the other metatarsal head. So a nice example of Freiberg's infraction. This is usually a subchondral insufficiency fracture and or osteonecrosis. It could be either or both. That's usually what the pathology is. This most commonly occurs in the second metatarsal head followed by the third metatarsal head. I have not seen a case of this in the first, fourth, or fifth, but that doesn't mean that it can't happen. Definitely most common in the second and then second most common in the third metatarsal head. This is usually a result of chronic repetitive microtrauma. Uh, you wanna look for flattening of the metatarsal head, loss of that convex contour, sclerosis and lucency. But I wanna caution you because a pitfall is, is that if you just have isolated flattening of the metatarsal head, that is not diagnostic of Freiberg's infraction. As a normal variant, some people have, you know, flattening of the metatarsal head or the Convex contour is not as sharp as in other people. So you can't use that as the sole diagnostic criteria of Freiberg's infraction. You want to look for sclerosis, subchondral lucency, maybe even a fracture line. You know, all those things would add credibility to your diagnosis of Freiberg's infraction. Now, the second metatarsal is usually the longest in most people, and it's subject to the most forces when walking and ambulating. And that's why chronic repetitive microtrauma will result in, you know, uh, osteonecrosis and or a subchondral injury to the second metatarsal head. This is treated usually conservatively, usually with orthotics. Sometimes giving wide shoes will help in this and alleviating the symptoms. But ultimately and rarely, we can do surgery. You can do an osteotomy of the second metatarsal head, or you can even do an excision arthroplasty at the second MTP joint as treatment. But that's uh, usually not needed. Usually conservative treatment will be sufficient. Thank you so much for your attention. Tune in next week for another high-yield MSK unknown case.